As many of you probably already know, Intel's 7th generation core processors, codenamed KB Lake, aren't far away. Built on the 14 nanometer design process, KB Lake would be the successor to Skylake. Initially, Skylake was to be succeeded by the 10 nanometer Cannon Lake architecture. However, way back in July 2015, Intel announced that Cannon Lake would be delayed until the second half of 2017. Now in the third quarter of 2016, many enthusiasts are hotly anticipating the arrival of KB Lake. Well, today Intel is officially announcing the release of their 7th generation core processors, though not the desktop parts many of you will be interested in. Rather, today marks the arrival of the mobile processor from the U, Ultra Low Power and Y, Extremely Low Power series. These processors feature a TDP ranging from 4.5 watts up to 15 watts and are intended to power 2-in-1s and ultra-thin notebooks. Unfortunately, the enthusiast-grade desktop and notebook processors that I, and probably most of you are interested in, won't be arriving until next year. Intel has officially stated a January 2017 release for their more serious 7th gen core processors. Another 5 month wait probably isn't what you wanted to hear and this means KB Lake should be arriving around the same time as AMD's hugely anticipated Zen processors. Exciting times ahead indeed. For now, we have the low powered KB Lake processors to give us some insight into the kind of improvements Intel has made to their latest microarchitecture. The headline here being that Intel is claiming a 12% performance increase over Skylake. In fact, Intel says the Core i7-7500U will be up to 12% faster than the i7-6500U for productivity tasks based on performance seen when testing with Sysmark 2014. Though I should point out that there is up to a 13% difference in operating frequency between these two processors in favour of the 7500U, so you have to wonder how much difference the updated architecture makes here. Comparing the same processors, Intel says the i7-7500U will be up to 19% faster for web-based applications. These claims are based on Web XPRT 2015 performance and again with up to a 13% clock speed advantage we wonder just how much faster the 7th gen processor really is. Intel also claims there will be significant productivity and responsiveness gains over the 6th gen processors. They even go as far to say KB Lake is built using the 14 nanometer plus process. Although they didn't say exactly what the changes are, they claim that the 14 nanometer process used for KB Lake is so well refined that when compared to the 14 nanometer process for Skylake, it warrants the plus. The focus for these low powered chips has been on improving 4K video playback along with 360 degree videos and multiple video stream performance. Included is a new media engine built upon the Gen 9 graphics architecture. There's also support for a new HEVC 10-bit decode capability. This should enable smooth premium playback for 4K content. Likewise, the new VP9 decode capability should provide power efficient smooth 4K 360 degree playback while multitasking. The improved power efficiency means that ultra portable devices can run for up to 9.5 hours playing 4K content before sucking the battery dry. As far as the product lineup and availability goes, you should start seeing devices featuring Core M3, Core i3, Core i5 and Core i7 7th gen processors. Intel expects the OEM partners to start shipping 7th gen enabled systems to users by early September. So what are the processors you can expect to see? From the Y series there are three new processors, the Core i7 7Y75, Core i5 7Y54 and Core M3 7Y30. All three are dual core processors with hyperthreading for four threads. The key difference being their operating frequency. The i7-7Y75 features a base clock of 1.3GHz with a maximum single core frequency of 3.6GHz. The i5-7Y54 can crank up to 3.2GHz and the M3-7Y30 just 2.6GHz. Then there's the U-Series which sports the Core i7-7500U, Core i5-7200U and Core i3-7100U. Again, these are all dual core processors boasting four threads. The only noteworthy differences are the frequencies, though I should note Intel doesn't list the capacity of the various caches. The i3-7100U is locked at 2.4GHz, while the i5-7200U can run as fast as 3.1GHz, and the i7-7500U up to 3.5GHz. Intel suggests a price of 281 for the Core i5, Core i3 and Core M3 processors, while the Core i7 models cost 393 US. Both the Y-series and U-series processors have integrated platform input and output. The Y-series and premium U-series processors support three independent displays, RAID and HCI support. Intel Smart Response Technology, High Definition Audio, Smart Sound Technology, up to six USB 3 ports and four SATA 6 gigabit per second ports. The baseline U-series processors drop RAID support, Intel Smart Response Technology, they support just four USB 3 ports and two SATA 6 gigabit per second ports. Overall, it's a really interesting lineup from Intel and I'm keen to see just how well devices sporting these 7th generation core processors perform. What do you guys think of this news? Let me know in the comments, I'm your host Matt as always and I'll see you guys next time.
YouTubers like me depend on your support to continue improving the quality and content of our videos. To support the channel directly, consider becoming a patron to also get access to a heap of cool rewards and exclusive giveaways. Also, don't forget you can check prices and buy the products I looked at in this video through the Amazon links in the video description below. Thank you kindly for supporting me and the Hardware Unbox channel, it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it, and in return I'll continue to work as hard as I can to keep producing the content you enjoy.